With the winter update in Dying Light 2, some new weapon types were added to the game, and today I'm going to show you how to get all of them. Starting off with the pole arm, you can get these in a few different places. They can be dropped from renegades, found in legendary renegade encounters, or even possibly found as a reward in the legend level chests or the pilgrim chests you get from the GRE anomaly. I've not been lucky enough to get any from these sources, but I'll show you how you can get some guaranteed. First, you can head over to Shin, the Chapter 2 agent, located here on the map near the Garrison Metro. You can purchase the Royalty Pole Arm from her. It costs 200 tokens and 1200 mutation samples. The damage is really good and it's one of the best weapons I've ever used in the game. You can also get one from the Grim Santa bundle in the store which costs 500 DL points. That one is called the North Pole Arm and includes freezing damage. A blueprint for one was found and shown to me in my Discord. You can find it at the top of the downtown metro. Just take the zip lift to the top and go outside and over the top like this. You'll see the blueprint right on the other side. Upgrading it to max at the Craftmaster makes it 698 base damage for a max level character. Bringing it into my inventory made it go even higher with the final damage after adding mods and a charm to 929 damage, which is insane. The next new weapon type is the Nocturnal Weapons. These will give you massive bonus damage against specific enemies listed on the weapon. The downside to them is that anytime you get hit by an enemy at night, your immunity decreases a lot. You'll need to make sure to keep immunity boosters with you if you want to use these. Another cool effect is that they do glow in the dark. There are a couple of ways to find them. First, you can get them from the legendary infected encounters and potentially all the chests I mentioned in the polearm section. You can also obtain them through the new Nightfall drops on the Pilgrim Outpost website. They cost 30 Pilgrim tokens per chest. The last way is to get them through Harper, the Chapter 1 agent found at the Fisheye. You can buy unique, artifact, legendary, or exotic variants for increasing amounts of Harper tokens and mutation samples based on the rarity you choose. I really like these weapons, the way they look with the glow, and the fact that they're crazy strong against the enemy types that rolled onto the weapon. You'll need to keep trying for the best results like volatiles and virals, but if you get the right roll, these are a must-have at nighttime. After this, there are two new throwing weapons added to the game. The first is the new exploding knife. You can find the blueprint for these at any PK Craftmaster, like the one at the PK Floating Fortress in the Wharf. These will stick to enemies and explode after a duration of about 3 seconds. Once fully upgraded, they have an 8 meter radius and have a damage of 1113, which is actually less than the DIY grenade. After testing it out a bit, I found that they can take down single normal biters if hit directly. However, others in the radius don't take as much damage. If you play on the harder difficulties, even some normal enemies will take a couple of these to go down. It can be good for crowd control before getting into an area, but you run the risk of getting caught in the explosion. I feel like your resources will be better spent on DIY grenades if you're going to use explosives. The other new throwing weapon is the Shuriken. These can be found at any Survivor Craftmaster like the one at the Fisheye. Once fully upgraded, you can throw 7 of them at once and only use up 1 ammo. This has a heavy hit reaction to enemies and deals 60 damage. The only other good thing is that it will stagger groups of enemies in front of you, including volatiles. These are great for some quick crowd control to give yourself some breathing room if you're getting surrounded a lot. And they can be used to set up finishers on different enemies. The downside is you won't be killing many enemies with them unless you're super close and manage to hit them with all 7 shurikens, and even then, it's only really for normal biters. What do you think of all the new weapon types added to the game? Do you enjoy them or are you wanting something more? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. See you next time.